Time to open the bag on a new Wise product. This time it's the Wise Buds Pro, the new in-ear headset from Wise, and I am a backer. Let's check it out. And before we open the box, let's go ahead and take a look at the Wise website and see what's included with the Wise Buds Pro. I did order these as an early release and you can see some of the features here are active noise cancellation, six microphone voice system, up to 18 battery hours of battery life. We can get professional quality 40 dB active noise cancellation. They seem to be really proud of that. Three voice isolating microphones, three microphones in each bud work together to cut the noise and elevate your voice so that you can be heard. You can have a voice. It is wireless charging ready. We'll take a look at that a little bit later on. You can tune into the streets with transparency mode, which allows you when you're running to be able to hear what's around you. Very important in my use case scenario, which will be to pop these in the ear and go for a quick run. We also have other modes um, besides transparency that we'll talk about in just a little bit. We have a 10 millimeter high amplitude audio driver delivers rich treble and strong bass. You get more focus time with up to 18 hours of battery life. And we get a fit for every pro included in the box are some additional ear fit devices, smart controls that don't skip a beat, adaptive EQ, we have Alexa built in and we have custom touch controls, which we'll look at later on in the application and a feature called auto pause. Auto pause allows sensors to recognize when the Wise Buds Pro are in your ear and will automatically play pause when you take them out. And if you don't like all this active noise cancellation, just wait. Wise Buds will have another model on the way and you can join the wait list. I was also a Wise Headphones backer. If you're interested in these headphones, check out the video description below for the link to my review of the Wise Headphones. Let's go ahead and open the bag up, take a look at the box. We'll look at all sides of the box. Here's the front of the box with the Wise Bud it's Pro and on the back, control your sound. And we've seen some of that on the webpage. Five hour battery life, 16 hours in case. Phone-free touch controls, Alexa's built in. It will control Google Assistant on an Android phone, I can verify. So let's go ahead and open this thing, get this plastic off of here and see what we get inside the box. We'll take off the slip cover, we'll open the top of the box and the first thing we find inside is the quick start guide. If it's like otherwise devices, this should be a pretty easy setup process. So as we open the guide, we will see, welcome to WISE, get started, all the apps you need, control your noise cancellation, charging, factory reset, and then a ton of warnings. Placing the instructions aside, we get to the device itself. That's a nice form factor. Looks like a big black pill that you don't want to take with water. That is for sure. We've got this wrapping on here. We'll go around here. It is USB-C. That is a requirement for any device in my house. Let's go ahead and take off this protective wrapping and do this one-handed. How about that? Look at me, one-handed. And you can see on the front, we have a little LED light right there. That should pop in when we turn it on. On the back, we have the Wise logo and the hinge. You can see that. Again, just a nice, small, compact black case. Very similar to other headsets on the market today. Inside, you see it's very shiny. Where we have a matte exterior, it's kind of shiny on the inside. We do have a light on the inside. You can see the white light. Here's a close-up of the Wise Buds Pro. And you can see on the right a pairing button. We'll take a look and actually use that later on. Let's go ahead and pull out one of the buds from the case. We're pulling out the left one here. You can see right around there we have the little insert for your ear. Again, multiple sizes do come with that. We'll take a look at it. This is, again, the left side. It's very shiny. And on the side, you'll notice touch devices as well as these prongs for charging right here. The right one looks like a mirror of the other one. We have the same touch controls. We have the same connectors, same ear fitting. It's very lightweight. It's not quite as heavy as say the Pixel Budge, which I, which I also own, uh, but seems like it's pretty well made. Up to wise quality for sure.
Okay, let's go ahead and stick these in the ear and see how comfortable they are. And I've asked my wife to take a picture of them in my ear. This is what we came up with. Here is the actual picture with the headsets in my ear. They are very comfortable. No issues with comfort whatsoever using the default ear inserts. And here are the extras, as I mentioned earlier. It does come with three additional sizes. The medium are the ones that are on by default. There is a large and a small ear insert adapter. And again, I like the default, so I'm gonna stick with those. We'll go ahead and stick these back in the box. And moving to the back of the box, we have another little compartment with a little cable identification on it. That should be our USB cable. And as we learned earlier, this is a USB-C device. So we should have some rapid charging as well as compatibility with every other USB-C charger that is thrown into my travel bag. So that will be nice. This is everything that's included in the box. The Buds Pro are well packed and I really appreciate the eye-backed sticker for the Wise Buds Pro. Here is the case with the green light on. Let's go ahead and plug this in and start to charge. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you know, trying to record with one hand can be fraught with error. Thanks to my wife for helping me get this image. There we go. Now we're charging without any of the cases falling on the floor. And here we are with our Qi charger. It is Qi compatible, and this is an IKEA desk lamp with Qi charging. You see, it charges up just fine. And like all Wise devices, we do need to load up the Wise app to finish our installation. I'm sure there is a firmware update in our future. So let's go ahead and add the device to our Wise application, searching for the buds connected to the buds. Perfect, we're gonna pair that. We're gonna give it access to our contacts and our call history so that we can use it for outgoing and incoming calls. Welcome to a quieter world. We will check that out later. And there it is, a new firmware update. So let's go ahead and apply the update and uh, be back in just a few minutes. And through the magic of video, we're updated to 0.6.5.2, so let's go ahead and connect. Here we go. Uh, we have on off for our active noise cancellation. Let's work through the app and along the way, we'll turn on our bass booster. You can see that we have single tap, double tap, and triple tap controls. There are some defaults for those, but we're gonna change those. Here are some instructions for tap and hold. Here are the instructions for double tap. Here are triple tap, power on and off, paramobile device and answer a call and or reject a call. So those are the taps by default. Now let's go ahead and change those. I'm gonna change those to match more the taps that I use for my Pixel Buds. That way it'll be a similar user experience between the devices. I do like that they give me the option to change these tap controls. Very nice, thank you, Wise. So we'll go ahead and review the rest of the controls. We'll go back into the app and go back to the main screen. And oh, well, congratulations. I've earned yet another badge, this time a virtual one. When you add the device with the Android app, it automatically pairs with your phone. But let's see if we can also pair it to my Mac. So we'll open up the case. We'll press the button, hold it, put it in pairing mode. We'll wait for it to appear. It shows it's connected. Looks like we have a connection to the Mac. I did give it a shot and it works well. So I have connected to two devices simultaneously. So there's the introduction to the Wise Buds Pro. Now, this is not all the information I have on the Wise Buds Pro. You probably want to know my thoughts. Make sure and check out the companion blog post link down below. And I will see you next time.